Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Civilization number 6, which we're currently playing as the Macedonians under the leadership of Alexander. Now we're currently at war with three different parties, of course being the Persians, the French, as well as the Americans. Now the Americans are not really that big a threat, so I should be able to deal with them relatively quickly, I think. So as you can see, I'm actually able to fire up on that cannon there with this... Uh, uh, what is it? It's an uh, encampment. So it's a, it's a, it should be a relatively easy kill afterwards. The only thing I don't really have here is any uh, supporting gear. Weapons and so forth. So I've just taking that out, as you can see. And afterwards, what else will I do? I'll probably take out that general and I'll push him back into the city there at the very least. I don't think I've got many other units here at my disposal. So let's actually have a look at what I can do maybe in Washington. Could I potentially buy a unit here? Uh, I can buy a medic. Could be useful. Yeah, let's get that medic in play. Other than that, there's not much I can do over here at the moment. Probably want to get... Oh, okay. I still, still have another one here. I'm gonna probably... Am I able to move it? Yes, it's still my turn. Good. Let's go over there. Let's occupy that spot there. Skip the turn. Uh, skip the turn on this as well. So what? I can pillage the science. Nice. <clears throat> right here, I can basically build myself a mine. It looks like I am going to do that. Here, I was going to build another fortification. So a fort. It's a good location for it, I think. As you can see, I'm actually close to Verdun, the French city here. There is here an Indian city, and of course, there are some city-states here as well. I'm going to go for, for Verdun shortly, but yeah, first we're going to go to the next turn. <clears throat> Stock exchange being pillaged by barbarians. Interesting. Hear someone shooting, firing. I just don't see where. Oh, there. Those are barbarians, I guess. <clears throat> okay, Persians firing upon my ship there. Missile cruiser was bombarded. Mechanized infantry is bombarded here by the Americans. I do have a unit that I can promote, which I will do shortly. Let's first move it out of range here. It's out of range of the units that were firing on me just a second ago. Is it, has it been this one? No, I don't think it actually has been. Let's see. Supply. Heal outside of friendly territory. I cannot choose that, unfortunately. I've already done that one. So, yeah, as you can see, I've got lots of them already done. So, for the moment, I'm actually just going to shoot at this Persian city here, I was thinking. For some reason, the Persians didn't want to basically make peace in the last episode, as you might remember. So this is a... what is it? Ah, okay. A ranged unit still. Can I move it outside of the range of them? If I move it down there, then that should be out of range, I would say. I can still shoot at their city, which is fine. Which is perfect. I'm using my fighter jet there to attack them. That's it. Let's set this one to be deployed over here. This one that's deployed here at the moment. I can set it to be deployed closer to there. Right, this artillery here, let's pick that up. Can I move that artillery closer? Uh, I'd love to be able to move it there. Did that work? That should work. But let's, let's do that by C. Mechanized infantry. Let's see if I can get that on land there. 
this guy here is of course able to repair stuff in this region here <sighs> where do I want to do some work on all of this do I need to do some work maybe maybe over there meantime of course I can do some construction work here let's repair that power plant I can build a neighborhood they say do I want to do so probably not um, let's build ourselves another unit here. Let's build ourselves another bomber. Here, I can basically build more units as well. Um, I can go for an airport here, for example. Um, that's on the aerodrome. It helps increase production, so yeah, I'm going to go for that. Here, I can, of course, restore the campus. Let's do so. It's a first step along the path. I think that suggestion of sewer is a good one. Uh, let's do the granary first. Here, a lot of trade route. So we can actually say, what is it is we got? Lisbon? Yeah, let's repeat Lisbon. Okay. This one over here is a destroyer. And we're not at war with these guys here, so I'm, I'm kind of inclined to say, well, let's move it to a position here. And let's actually then put it into a alert mode. Keep an eye on things there. Firing into that city there. I don't see any aerial defenses, so that should be good. I want to basically do something here with this guy. So the city is already protected. Then we got here the spaceport is protected. We got here, of course, what is called the commercial district. I want to basically go for the science location. All right. Have I got any planes or anything of that sort here? No, not as far as I can see. Uh, this is a jet bomber. I want to relocate it, and I want to relocate it to yeah, Washington, it looks like. This is a fighter jet. Again, I want to relocate that as well. Unfortunately, it hasn't got the same range. So I'm going to have to go to Dijon first, I think. And then from there, I hope we will be able to fly on to Washington. All right, what have we got here? A tank? tank is uh, it's been damaged as you can see there are a fair number of bombers here at least one at the very least okay we to operate these one by one That's the second fighter I'm sending there both of them have done damage there now, it looks like. So this one's done work. This one's done work. Have I got more than just those? I've used the bomber. I've used those two. Now in theory, I should be able to, of course, do something here quite useful. See what we can do with our mechanized infantry here. Okay, that will, will get damaged. Let's see by how much. It's not so bad. It looks like my tank will be able to refine it and blow them up before we take control of that city. Alright, what are we going to do with that city? I am inclined to raise it. Right. But I probably will anger the rest of the people on the world. And again, I'm not too concerned about that. My military is powerful enough here to deal with them. At least so I think. Let's move that ship into place. Here, I got another ship. Let's first pick up that ship and actually move it into a nice position there. Let's 
go back to that ship and actually pick up the, uh, the fighter on top of there. a number of missiles at them, which of course is great. This one here is able to pillage the road. What have we got here? Okay, let's go through all the other items here first. So this one here at the moment, as you can see, is in a fortress. I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna basically have it entrench itself. I'm kind of inclined to do the same with these here for the moment being. So I'm gonna fortify them. that in my territory? In enemy territory. It seems to be an enemy territory. I'm not even sure why we got that guy there. Okay. Let's get this one back into a defensive position there. Let's check out what we can do here with the uh, reinforced was able to fire into that city there. I'm sure now I'm going to fortify this tank, I think. The green vanguard. Cool. Now what is this? An Indian item? We're currently at war with the Americans here, of course, so I'm going to basically bombard that American city. Okay, fine. But the medic can, of course, join that unit here, which is perfect. So once it's joined up with that unit there, I can basically uh, support them quite nicely. All right, we got fighters here. Now with this fighter, I should be able to, of course, set this to be deployed, let's say, over here. I should, of course, be able to take on um, Blois, a French city. Pretty decent-sized city, though. All right, let's go on to the next turn, I think. All right, there's another unit that we've got control over. So let's build ourselves a fishing net here. And this artist here, what can we do with this artist? Just looking for where I might have a location where I can put or utilize him or doesn't look to be anything of that sort, so we're going to sleep the artist for now. Now here, what can we do? We can of course build a fortress, or maybe an airfield. Let's go for the airstrip. And here, this could potentially be a good spot for... Hmm, I was going to say a fort, but do I want a fort there? Maybe not. Build another missile base. What else am I going to do in the desert here anyways? Right, this one here has done a few things already. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it back into the city. And we're going to basically tell it to sleep in the city. This destroyer can pillage. Has improved the health of my destroyer, okay. I'm going to put it on alert here. And indeed, we are still going to go to the next turn. So we're being fired upon, as you can see. I shouldn't really do too much because, of course, our speed in a defensive position already. Right, they are taking some shots at us here. I can live with that. Ooh. Right, they want some of our piece of art. Now, I'm not going to basically go for that. Most definitely not going to sell them any aluminum. Well, let's refuse it. Bye bye. Don't really want to give you stuff for free, so to speak. I had originally envisioned letting the Americans keep one or two cities, so I left them two cities one in Africa and then one in over here. There is nothing like a dream. For some reason, they don't want it. Future tech. 
Let's do something about the construction here. We can actually repair our stock exchange. Um, right up here, we can build a neighborhood. I don't really want to do that in any of these locations, so let's do something else. Spaceport, new. Let's build ourselves a... Hmm. What shall we do here? What shall we do? Let's build some modern armor. This one is gonna. S Should I move it there? I can do that. This one is basically for the until it's healed. This one is not basically for an alert. I know it will be attacked, but uh, it should be protected whilst it's there as well. Take that back to that city there, I think. Right, this one here should be able to again attack uh, New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. The fire on the healed. The same with. Ooh, I was going to say the same with this one, but. Uh, combat strength against damaged units, interesting. Let's use the charge ability, that was him up already. Right, this one I basically want to move to position from where I'll be able to fire into enemy territory. Should be able to do that from there. Let's move back into there, that should help. Let's move this one actually over. Yonder. Right, we have got ourselves a spy here. Of course, this spy, I want to basically set it to defend the, let's say, here, defend the city here. That's interesting. French have got actual cavalry. the trick. <clears throat> I do suffer some damage, but it's, it's minimal. Alright, do I want to be... Uh, I was going to see if I can move it here, and it's still not possible to move it there. So I can move it onto that carrier, and that carrier can then start moving southwards. So that, that's kind of the solution for the moment being. This one stays in this location, I would say, to keep it fortified. This one here will keep on attacking their city, I would say. Looks like I'm probably going to need more than just the one. This one is going to attack a Blois. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but at least that's how I'm pronouncing it now. Apologies if that is the wrong pronunciation, though. You've attracted enough tours to make your culture domination over Poland. Okay, well, we're not aiming for a cultural victory, so that's fine. I can remove this. Do I want to do that? Probably not. Let's look at the swamp there, what I can do in there. Right, engineer here. Yeah, quite happy with that guy where he is at the moment. This item here will move to over here. <clears throat> so the helicopter can, of course, go inland. Pretty 
promotion available. Okay, let's just attack that city. Okay. We should be firing these missiles into that city there. Slowly lowering both the health as well as the uh, defense or garrison strength. <coughs> cool. I've got myself a. What is this? This is a destroyer, if I'm not mistaken. Melee, yep. Oh, sorry. Why am I moving it? I'm, I'm at war with the Polish. No, I'm not at war with the Polish yet. Not yet. I'm at war with the Americans. Right, do we need to do any repairs here? It doesn't look like it. Let's move it over here to see what I can do there. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. And as you can see, the French are attacking my unit here. But at the same time, of course, because I'm in French there, I'm actually defending myself quite nicely. Right, my helicopter's being attacked, which I kind of hoped wouldn't happen, but it has happened. What is this? Under Siege. Doesn't say what Under Siege actually does, which would be nice if it did. Alright, we can choose a new construction items. We're going to choose to basically build another jet bomber here. <coughs> Bombers always seem to be quite useful. More production here as well. We can build a stadium, it looks like. We do need additional amenities, so a stadium is a good one to go for. More production in Chennai in this instance. Again, a stadium is the one to go for. City. Take down lots of their defenses. And I think that will have obliterated their defenses and basically taken out the party. Now, is that the last of Cyrus? No, it is not. There still seems to be a little bit of a foothold here in. I was going to say Africa, but it looks like actually in North America there. They still got Sparta as one of their locations that they still got ownership of. So if I were to speak to him, what would happen? Make peace. Yep, I want most all of your cities. He's happy to accept. Okay, really? Reason for making peace here would be, of course, the fact that uh oh, he's willing to give me all his money. <laughs> yep, I'm quite happy with that. Um, he's still willing to make peace. Key reason for making peace on my part is the fact that yeah, I want to basically be able to focus on ideally one war at a time. Not interested, that's fine. Okay, bye bye. So that leaves them with that one city, and the rest here is all mine now. No contest whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna keep that city. Right, what are we gonna do here in this city? We're gonna repair the monument, should only take a single turn. Same in this city here. In this city here. I'm pretty sure I've done that city just a second ago, but okay. Let's do the same with the granary here. Let's get that back up to speed. Now, Lisbon. This is what we had here before. It looks like we can repeat that one. 
Let's see. Yeah. Heal until fortified, or fortify until healed. Right here, this unit here is going to be able to be quite useful to my endeavors here in this continent. So what am I going to do first off? I'm going to move it over here. Alright, this is of course one of my ships. <clears throat> on a caravel even. Okay. Let's move this one to this position here to start off with. <clears throat> Let's take out that uh, American ship there. Wouldn't be able to do too much damage, but still, it's, it's able to interrupt my uh, trade flows. Base this to Saint Louis. <clears throat> I mean to make can actually attack their city once again. This one again. Ooh, actually can plan another trade route. Have they got a trade route here. Okay. This is Krakow we're dealing with. Now, Krakow is... Okay, currently in relatively friendly hands. I'm going to look for some place where we can get some decent uh, monetary returns. Let's start a route to Lisbon. Right, let's attack that same city once again. Lois. And we can attack them with the here as well. Firing into that city with our artillery. Do quite nicely. And begin another trade route to a Lisbon in this instance. That one fortified. I'm not sure why it jumps out of fortification. I didn't set it to alert, but fortification. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, deal with that as we get to it. A tank coming around nicely. Skip that one. All right, what do we got here? We got here, of course, our good city here. Currently we're training with Krakow. I'm going to change that. I'm inclined to change it to this city here. Hmm, maybe not. Butch. Kabul. Hong Kong. Nomadol. Gosh. Carthage. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for Carthage. I'm going to put that one onto the uh, carrier there as well. This next one here. I'm able to name this. Let's call that a cool name. Let's take out that bombardment unit there to start off with. Are we able to take him out in full? We're only damage him. Now we're only able to damage him, so let's take him out from here. <clears throat> Guard Imperial. Interesting. Imperial Guard. No minimum health requirement to air pillage. Interesting. Now I was going to build myself another city over here, I thought. Do I still want to carry on with that? One of the key reasons was, of course, to get extra air bases in this region here. I could still do so. But it might be beneficial to get another one here, for example, or down here. Hmm. There's more fish around in this area, and there's also aluminum there. I'm going to 
change this to go there instead. I'll send this one up north as well. <clears throat> cool. I think we're about to reach the end of our turn. Yeah, the other players are going through their bits. Oh, we still got one or two units to do something with, which is great. Let's do so. All right, I'm going to build an airfield here, I think. All right, we reached the point again where we're going to just say, well, we're going to save away the game. It's been a good uh, half an hour at least that we've been playing this now. So we're going to say that this, of course, is Alexander, which number 46. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.